Welcome to Mark's Tech Talk. In today's edition, we're going to analyze a circuit with a resistor and a capacitor in parallel. So uh, in this particular example, we have a voltage source, 10 angle zero, and the resistor and capacitor in parallel. The resistor is 2 kilo ohms. The capacitor is 0 0.01 microfarads. And we want to find the total current in this circuit. So in order to do that, we have to first of all find the capacitive reactance. X of C is equal to 1 over 2 pi FC. We'll plug our numbers in, do the arithmetic. You get a value of X of C, 1.06 kilo ohms. And remember, that is a negative imaginary. Resistance is real. The X of C is a negative imaginary. So I'm going to put that X of C on the side, put it aside. We'll be using that uh, in just a moment. And next step is to find the total Z of the circuit two parallel branches, so just like parallel resistors, we're going to add the Z's in the same fashion, reciprocal of the sum of the reciprocals. In this case, one branch is a resistance, the other is a capacitive reactance. Plug our values in, the resistance is 2K plus J0. Capacitive reactance is 0 minus J, 1.06 kilo ohms. Do the reciprocal of the sum of the reciprocals. Remember to put parentheses around your complex numbers. You'll get a Z of 936 ohms and an angle of minus 62.1. And we did that with reciprocal of the sum of the reciprocals. Remember with two parallel branches, when we have two resistors, we did product over sum. Well, it turns out we can do the same thing with Zs. We can do product over sum with Zs. And if we do that, we would actually get exactly the same number as we did a moment ago, 936 ohms, angle minus 62.1. Okay, so two different ways to do that, either reciprocal of the sum of the reciprocals or product over sum. Now that we have the total Z, we can use Ohm's law to find the total current. I is equal to V over Z. Uh, Z, remember, is 936, angle negative 62.1. The voltage was 10 angle zero, that was a given. Do the arithmetic and you'll get 10.7 angle 62.1 milliamps. Notice the angle of the current is positive and that's usually what you will get, in fact almost always, uh, with a capacitive circuit. Uh, you'll get a positive phase angle. Uh, uh, again, assuming the uh, voltage is an angle zero, which is our usual assumption here. Uh, let's try that again with a different problem. Uh, same circuit, but uh, different values. We're going to find total current again. So first of all, find that X of C, 1 over 2 pi FC, uh, 1 over 2 pi, 1.2K, and 0 0.02 micro. You'll get 6.63 kilo ohms. 6.63 kilo ohms. Uh, put that aside, and now we can find the Z by using reciprocal of the sum of the reciprocals, or if you remember from the last problem, we could also do product over sum. Uh, either case, you should get 3.99 kilo ohms, an angle of minus 37 degrees. So we're going to use that uh, along with um, the voltage in Ohm's law. I is equal to V over Z. V is given. Z we just found. Do the arithmetic on your calculator. You should get a current of 3.76 milliamps, angle 37 degrees. So there is how to solve a circuit with a resistor and capacitor in parallel. Hope you enjoyed this edition of Mark's Tech Talk and tune in for more.